Hello people! I am doing my let's play because I felt like it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this is just going to be on normal Minecraft with no mods. I love to play with mods but since I've never made any YouTube videos before, uh, well any good ones, I've made like a few before, but this is going to be my Minecraft channel, the Mighty Dondor does MC. So I'm doing let's play, survival game mode, and I'm doing all the normal things. Don't need cheats, don't need bonus chest. So let's start it. Okay, so this video is lagging by the look of the SPS because my computer is getting the world ready. So almost there okay the FPS is coming back up and uh, yeah I'm sorry about the huge watermark but it's um all the other recording software I tried uh, was really bad one couldn't record sound and one did 30 minute I mean 30 second episodes so this is the best one I could find so it's a pretty big watermark I mean it should make it smaller um, but if you want to like donate to me, I don't know how you can do that. If I get enough money, then I'll upgrade so you don't have to see the watermark. But I doubt that will happen. Um, yeah, so let's just get started by chopping down some wood and finding a cool place to live. So it looks like I spawn on this peninsulated place. I don't know if that's a word, peninsulated. Um, so I like to make my first house in like this uh, in like a hill uh, just because I don't have to use so much materials and I can get a little head start on stone. Um, I'll, I will of course move to a proper house probably built out of stone bricks and if you're expecting it to be well designed then you are wrongly expecting because I am really bad at designing and I just use one thing. If I try to use anything else, um, then it just epically fails. Um, and honestly, I think like just a single type of block, I think it looks quite stylish anyway. Um, and it's easy to make. Stone bricks is my favourite block other than like diamond block because then I can get diamonds. So I've got some wood and I like to keep six in case I don't find coal and I want to make charcoal. Six charcoal is pretty good to start off with. And okay, let's look for a nice hill. Oh, this is a nice hill. It's got some water around it. Um, looks like I did spawn on just an island, period. Um, uh, what am I in? Am I, yeah, this is an ocean biome, because the islands are big enough. Uh, this is quite a good island place. I'm not sure if it's like in the code that it's like this archipelago, which is what I'm on or archipelago, don't know what it's called, but let's start digging in. So I'll put my crafting table here, make some pickaxe, make a pickaxe, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna pause the recording and then merge it together sometimes when I don't want you to see the boring parts like this building a house, so I'm gonna come back when I've built a decent livable house. Okay. Hello guys, I'm back and I've built a nice, uh, well actually not nice, um, just a little hole to get my crafting table, furnaces, chests, stuff like that. And I'll be building a house shortly, maybe in episode two or possibly three. Um, so now I can craft some stone tools because I don't like wooden tools because stone is just so easy to get and I don't see the point because wooden tools they're really slow 
Ah, uh, the only wooden tool I ever make is a wooden pickaxe. So, making some stone tools. Two, three, and four. And I didn't find coal, so I'm going to build a furnace and use those six wood I was saving. One, two, three, four. I like to cook in sets of three because two are good planks, cooks three things, so I don't waste anything. I don't like to waste things in furnace, especially at the start of the game. Uh, at the end of the game, then I'm like okay using one coal to cook like three things. Um, if, if there's only one or two things, I usually switch for wood, just because there's not an endless amount of coal. Um, and cooking some more. Let's make some torches. Okay, so what's our situation with daylight? Because I might want to get some food. Oh yeah. Good, I'm playing on normal. I just want to switch to peaceful. Maybe it's uh, worlds only. Yeah, I switched it to peaceful when I was playing on my creative world. Uh, maybe it's like locks for the world. So if you change one thing for one world, then it doesn't change the other thing. Um, yeah, 1.8 thing probably. I am not familiar with. I'm familiar with some, but barely anything of the changes for 1.8, and I can't find any animals, which is a bummer. There's quite a tall island over there. Um, yeah, I'm getting low on. Oh, the sun's still high in the sky. Why don't I go exploring for some chow? should have bought like a furnace and some wood so I can cook the food on the spot. Oh yes! Ha! Huh, so much animals. This is like animal haven. Well, it's not really haven because now I'm killing them. It's animal hangout spot. And I'm gonna get like a bit of food, like eight of each. Eight pork chops and eight beef. If I can. Uh, seven's good. How much will this drop? Seven. Okay, I think that's all the animals around here. That'll do for now. I've got seven beef and seven pork. And I can get home to eat them. There's my lovely door. And I'm hearing a zombie noise um, from like under the island. There's probably a cave there. I heard a bat in my house when I was off camera digging it out. Um, so there's some charcoal in the furnace. And yeah, I'm probably gonna go mining. I like to do mining quite a lot early game. Get a bit of iron, a bit of gold. If I'm lucky, get some diamonds. Uh, even when I'm out in my other house, I'll still come here to mine because there's no point when my house is like 30 blocks away. That's probably what it's gonna be. Um, to dig down to bedrock all the way, but I'm not going to use a ladder tunnel, I'm uh, just going to use a like staircase. Um, going to make another furnace to cook my pork chops. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Okay, hopefully I'm going to find some coal as well. Uh, three cooked steak. Well, let's do four. There we go, four cooked steak, some cobblestone. I'm fit for mining, but mining's kind of boring, so I'll be back when I am done. Okay, I'm back, and i just like to say that I found a cave. So I thought this might be interesting, looking around the cave, so I just turned the recording back on. And I didn't really dig down that much before I found a cave. Uh oh, I hear a skeleton. Where is it? Oh my god. Ah! Oh. I was concentrating then. Should have paid more attention. Okay, so I want to place a torch down. Okay. Let's light it up, let's light it up. Light up the cave, some ropes is born. Yeah. So, if I run into anything 
bit more exciting, then I will show you that creeper. I'm going to kill that creeper before I go off then. I'm slow at killing creepers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, first gunpowder got it. Okay. I'll come back. Woohoo! Iron! Okay, I'm back. I'm coming back up because I ran out of torches. And, oh, that just reminds me. There's something I like to do to my mining area. So creepers don't come. Or, in fact, any mob, but... Creepers are the most important one that I don't want to come. I put a fence gate there. So I put a block there because I don't think you can place fence gates on non blocks, but after you place it, you can destroy it. It's kind of weird. You can't place it on the wall or anything. Uh, at least that was what it was. So, it's not the most iron ore. Uh, I've got 19, so as I said, I don't like to waste too much, too much uh, coal. So I'm gonna throw this 18 in here, 18 in here, and I'm gonna take some for torches. Yeah, that's enough. One, two, three, four. Make some torches. Okay, I'm gonna go mining once again. And there are a lot of mob sounds. Don't know if you can hear it, but it is night. If only I found sheep, I could sleep. Okay, gonna go mining more. Okay, I've explored every nook and cranny, or at least I think so, of this mining area. Oh my, oh no, there is an enderman. Okay, I've got a stone sword and no armour. Should I attack it? That's the question. Oh, I'll go for it. I'm doing exciting things for you, YouTube. Oh, that was easy. So, I got a lot of coal. Gonna make some more stick. I mean, torches. And quite a bit of iron, so it's not the most stuff ever, but I split this, and that can have 8, and that can have 15, okay, 8 and 15, so this gets to 20, no that gets to 19, there. Uh, 41 and I'm gonna cook more. Okay, so the sun's high in the sky, it's about midday, maybe one o'clock, and I want to do something. Something fun for the YouTube audience. Well first I'm gonna make some iron armor in case I encounter a mob. I have enough iron. Yeah, I have tons of iron. So that goes like this, and then this, and then this iron helmet. Uh, okay, just need one more iron for my chest plate. Here we go. Iron armor for any mobs. So I'm gonna go exploring. Gonna craft a boat and wow I'm low on wood. I guess I'll just chop up some trees very quickly, okay. Well I think I'm gonna chop down quite a few trees so I'll be back when I'm done. Okay I'm back and I've chopped down a, almost a stack of wood. I've got 53 in total. You can count. Okay so let's make some boats. And I'm going to make one, two, three boats because they break a lot. Okay. I'm ready to go exploring. But it is night time. Well, 
This might be interesting if I'm going at night time. Yes, I'm brave. I have iron armor and a stone sword. Oh, sugar cane. Already the benefits of exploring. Give okay, out my boots. I don't want it to break. No, no, come back. Okay. Got some show games. Let's go this way. Which is, since the sun sets in the west, this is north. Yes. <sighs> Sailing over the sea. Sailing over the sea, my boat broke. Good thing I bought three. I like singing in case you haven't noticed. Um, ooh, I found a lava pit. Whew. Let's activate the sand. Dear. Pretty good. Yes, sheep. This world is really good. Just to have beginner's luck. I mean, I'm not a beginner to Minecraft. I've been playing for a few years, but I'm a beginner to my let's play, and I'm having quite a lot of luck. Found a nice hill to live in. Found some animals, and I haven't died yet. But that might not be so true later on. Oh, rabbit. Uh, these are 1.8. So, what do they drop? They drop raw rabbit and rabbit hide. I mean, I'm at full. Uh, die. Die, you evil zombies. You know what would make the zombies more realistic? If you like, when you when they kill you, then you die, and then a zombie spawns with all your stuff, which is like you get zombified, and then you have to kill it to get your stuff back. Or if you feed it like a potion of weakness and a golden apple or whatever, then um. Then it turns into like a statue of you, not a statue, like a clone. <laughs> yeah, because that's how you turn zombie villagers back into some into villagers. Ah, wow, my FPS is getting low. Probably because I'm going so fast across this boat. I'm looking at the FPS in the corner. My FPS for the game is fine. But okay, now it's back up. I'm using uh I'm using a screen recorder and the FPS is quite unstable. I'm gonna get my boat back. Oh, did it break down with the stuff. Okay. Run away. Running away, I mean Run away. <laughs> what the hell? Ah, okay, back inside my house. So that exploration was good. Now I can sleep to the morning. Um, uh oh, no space. I'm going to make myself a little bedroom. I'll make it more potion a bit. Oh, damn it. Well, I'm going to have to kill them. Okay, I think that's all. Come on. Yes. Okay. No, I slipped. Okay. So, hmm, what should I do now? 
Maybe I should build something. Maybe I should build a house. But I don't have enough cobblestone for that. So why don't I go get some cobblestone in my mining thingy? And whoa, there is an, an army of zombies. So yeah, I'm going to get my cobblestone from my mining place. And then I'll be back to build my house. Hi guys, I'm back. I got a little bit of cobblestone from my mining thingy. I don't know, I'll just call it a mine. Yeah, better than mining thingy. So I did some stuff on my bedroom. It's still a work in progress because it's pretty small and all it has is a bed and a torch now. Don't know if mobs could spawn there, but better to be safe than sorry. And that reminds me, I haven't put any torches in my house. Like in my main area. And I also made a smelting area because I wanted to smelt lots of stuff quickly. And I didn't want to put it in my main area, it's just very space consuming and it doesn't look the best either. So. Yeah, just smelting up some stone so I can make stone brick for my new cool house. Okay, I'll be back when it's done. Okay, I'm back. I found what I think is a good spot for a house. Well, actually, no, I don't like this place. It's too thin. I'm going to build it up here. So I cleared some vegetation over there, but I didn't do it over here because I didn't see how good of a place this could be. I didn't see its potential. Okay, just oh, ever since 1.7, there's been a huge amount of vegetation like flowers and stuff. It's such a nuisance to clear. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Prime building place. Uh oh, the sun's going down. Better sleep in my newly renovated bedroom. Ah, okay, back to work on my house. So, I like to build 10 by 10 houses that are receded into the ground. So, I want it receded into the ground. Let's start here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, the reason I like 10 by 10 houses is because... It's because uh, I like the size, like, I built 9x9 nine nine houses before, but I found them too small. I didn't like the, their um, space. I got a little claustrophobic in there. So 10x10 ten ten houses are good. So 9x9 nine nine houses are torch efficient. They're, um, you can place one torch three blocks high. And I like putting my torches three blocks high, but 10 by 10, um, you can do the same three blocks high, but you need eight torches to light up the whole thing instead of four. So you need two on each wall. So I'll be back when I've built a little more of my house. I don't think I have enough stone bricks to finish it, but I'll be back when I've done all that I can. Okay, this is all that I've done. Uh, this is, the, let's say, the foundation for my house. And I'll be living in it from now, no, not from now on. I'll be living in it when I finish it. And yeah, so basically, it's going to be 10 by 10 like this. It's going to be the double doorway. I might even make a path out of stone bricks all the way down here and then diagonally to my mining house because I don't like swimming it's slow. Ah, that was a good house build, but now I'm out of stone. 
I have one cobblestone left. I could use some andesite and diorite, but I don't really like that. I'm not sure you can make bricks out of them either. So I'll be back when I've gotten some more stone bricks to go with my house and probably finish it. So I'm back once again and not all my stone has finished melting. I still have about um, nine, well I have nine in these furnaces and then 16 in the others because I gave some more. And let's go build my house. So yeah, I'm going to build my house a bit more and then when I'm done using up these bricks hopefully there'll be some more smelted for me. So this could be oh, this house is going to look so pretty when it's done. Well, not pretty, but cool. Yeah, it's going to look cool. That's what it's going to look like. So I'm going to tell you a few stuff about my channel now. I'm going to upload 30 minute episodes mostly. I might go a bit over. I'll try not to go under, but it might happen once or twice because uh, the longer the better for you. And yeah, and also my username. So if you see me on any servers, and you can say hi. If you're not a complete and utter idiot, you would have figured it out by my channel name. So, the Mighty Dondor is my username. So, yeah, if you see me on any servers, then check me out. And if you didn't need that, then you have at least one smart cell in your body because if you did not guess that you are very stupid no offense of course and also i will try to reply to any comments that you give me because i like to make my audience feel involved and also i set up a I, I had a server until my internet changed and it stopped working so maybe if you subscribe then, and you want to play with me then if I manage to set up my server again then you can join me Mr. Subscriber so I'm almost ready to finish off my house Just one more piece of cobblestone there we go. Let's check all the ones that are empty. Running kind of low on coal, but that's what happens when you build a house out of things that are smelted. Okay, I'm almost done. Just need to do the top two layers and then the wall. And I will expand this. I'll add another room. I might make it two stories tall. Maybe add a basement. And I'll add some windows soon, maybe in episode two, because we're getting quite near to the end of the episode. So hopefully I have enough stone bricks. Oh, I might not, because I need eight by eight, which is 64 to finish my roof. Oh, I'm going to be just short. Oh, well, I'll just have a hole in my roof until I fix it. Dum, 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 dum. Yeah, so subscribe and let me check how far along we are in the episode. We might not be near the end, but I'm pretty sure we're somewhat near. Okay, I'm back. So I just did a quick time check and we are 30 seconds left until it is the, the, um, damn, I can't think today, the end of the episode. Yes, that's the thing I was trying to say. 
Okay. Um, yeah, I made really good progress today. And, yeah, I got some, I got some food, got a mining house in a, a proper house. And I built a bedroom with, and a furnace area. I think I'm going to keep this furnace area for smelting all my ores. But I'm going to build some more furnaces over at the other base. And I will move my bedroom because I'm going to make it more grand in the other place. Like a king. Okay, so, yep. Subscribe, like, comment, and as always, what's a good catchphrase? Insert catchphrase here, insert catchphrase here. Comment below for my catchphrase and I'll pick one.